Hello guys, Sanjay here and in this video we are going to see how to install Resurrection Remix ROM and what are the features of Resurrection Remix ROM on the Redmi Note 3. So without further delay, let's get started. Installing this ROM is really easy but getting VOLT working is really tough. First of all, you will need to download multiple zip files. First ROM is going to be MIUI 8 zip file which is running Marshmallow. So it has to be global dev ROM as of now because global stable ROM is still based on Android Lollipop. But in future, global stable ROM will be having Marshmallow 2. After this, we need to download the Resurrection Remix ROM package, then the GAPS package. And after that, we need to download the Sanation Mod 14 firmware zip file. All the links will be in the description box below, so do not worry about that. First of all, reboot into TWRP recovery. To boot into TWRP recovery, power off your device completely. Then hold the volume up button and power button together for few seconds. And once you see the MI logo, leave the buttons. Once you boot into TWRP recovery, it is very important that you backup everything. So go into backup and select swipe to backup over here so that everything will be backed up. And assuming that you are on global stable ROM right now, you will need to flash the global developer ROM too. But if you are on global developer ROM right now, then you do not need to flash the global developer ROM. So if you are on a global stable ROM, go into wipe select swipe to factory reset over here now go into install select MIUI 8 developer zip file select add more zips and select lazy flashes zip file over here and select swipe to confirm flash the device will take few seconds to flash the zip file and once the zip file is flashed simply reboot the system once the device is done rebooting you will see VOLT sign on your device complete the setup if you want to but if you get the VOLT sign before completing the setup that's fine too and once you see the VOLT sign boot back into TWRP recovery by switching off your device then holding the volume up button and power button together and you, your device will boot into TWRP recovery. Once the device boots into that, select backup once again and only select EFS over here. Do not select all the other things because those are not necessary and select swipe to backup. And now we are ready to flash the Resurrection Remix ROM. To do that, go into wipe once again, select swipe to confirm flash or you can simply go into advanced swipe, select data, system, cache, Dalvik cache and select swipe to wipe over here. Once the wipe is done, go into install, select the Sanation Mod 14 firmware zip file, then click on add more zips, select the Resurrection Remix ROM zip file. Once again, click on add more zips and select Google Apps package which we had put into the internal storage earlier and select swipe to confirm flash over here. And now it will take few minutes to complete the flashing procedure. And once the flashing is completed, reboot your system. And if you get VOLT working just by doing this, then it's very good, but you may not get it too. So just in case if you do not get VOLT working on your device, then boot back into TWRP recovery, go into restore over here, select the EFS partition, which we had backed up earlier and swipe to restore the EFS partition. Now reboot your system and you should get VOLT working on your device. And till the time device boots into the ROM, let's talk about our sponsors of this video. So this video is sponsored by videoblocks.com. Videoblocks has one of the largest stock video libraries on the web with over 2 million stock videos, After Effects templates and motion backgrounds. And if you have seen any After Effects templates in my recent videos, then all those were taken from videoblocks.com. Or if you are a video creator, then you know how important After Effects templates are. And Videoblocks has tons of After Effects templates. And all memberships also come with a 100% royalty free agreement so you can use their videos, After Effects and motion backgrounds in all your commercial projects too. And in simple words, this means that if you upload any video on YouTube by using any videos from Videoblocks, then you do not have to worry about any type of copyright strike and you can use this in your commercial project and sell that project later on. Usually it is $149 for a year, but for this holiday season, Videoblocks is offering an exclusive $50 discount. Go to videoblocks.com slash holidays or click the link in the description box below to get $50 off one year of Videoblocks. And I have successfully booted into the device and I have set up the ROM. But unfortunately, I do not have VOLT working on the ROM. I know that I followed the right steps and by following these steps, people are able to get VOLT working on their device. And I got VOLT working on Sanity Mod 14.1 by using the same method. But unfortunately, I was not able to get VOLT working over here right now. But people have reported that they have VOLT working by following the exact same procedure. Anyways, let's forget that and we have the Resurrection Remix ROM installed on our device. And first of all, the most important thing that it is based on Android version 7.1 and not Lollipop that we have with MIUI 8. So if you want to enjoy latest Android version on your Redmi Note 3, you have to flash this ROM. And I'm saying flash this ROM because there are so many features that it will take you about two hours to get through all the features that this ROM has. So let's go into configurations over here. So you can customize status bar, you can customize panels, recents, quick settings, lock screen, gestures, 
buttons, animations, interface, miscellaneous, and about resurrection. Oh my god. But I am going to show you guys few important features that I personally use. Clock customization, I like to have it in the middle. So I'm going to select center over here. And I'm going to scroll like this in all the tabs so that you can pause the video anytime and see what are the customization options present in that particular tab. And uh, after this, if you want to enable brand logo, then you can enable that and you will get brand logo of Resurrection Remix ROM over here. You can also keep any custom logo over here. So for that, going to custom logo, select show custom logo and uh, you can pick a logo over here. Oh my God, there are too many logos. I'm going to select Pokeball over here because I still play Pokemon Go and it will start showing over here. These may seem like very minor things, but when you are going to use this ROM for months and when you know that you can personalize almost everything, like literally personalize, it's a very good feeling. After that, let's go into battery and I'm going to select circle over here, which is already selected and battery percentage inside the icon. I like this style and I have said this, I, oh my God, so many times. Let's go into panels over here. Notification, this is where it becomes interesting. So right now, if I scroll down the notification panel, you can see there is no transparency. It is completely black. Now, let me just reduce the transparency over here. And once I do that, See, this is how it is going to look. So recent applications look like this right now. But if I go over here and select full screen, then the notification bar will go away. And if I go over here and select status bar only, so I'm going to select default, go back, clear all. You can change the position of clear all button. Uh, I personally prefer it at bottom right. So I'm, bottom right is already selected. So let's, okay. So over here we have clear all button, which will do this. And I did not select the default launcher and I forgot to show you guys that. So once you install the ROM, pixel launcher is inbuilt into the ROM. So you do not have to install it separately. Select always over here and let's go back into settings. You can change the things which are present on your lock screen too. So let's assume you want to change the bottom shortcuts. You want to change, let's change this because I never use Google now from my lock screen. So select application, I'm going to select uh, setting shortcut over here. Uh, which shortcut, uh, let's select configuration shortcuts because we are in there only. Uh, camera, okay, camera I personally use, but anyways, let's select something else. Let's select something else over here, select apps and let's select downloads. Okay, let's lock the screen. So now if we swipe from here, we'll get to configurations directly. And if we swipe from here, we'll get to downloads directly. Okay, we are into downloads directly. You can customize all the colors which are present on the lock screen. So oh, there are like too many colors to show right now. And you can change multiple things on lock UI too. Let's assume you do not like to see the big clock on the lock screen, then you can disable it. And uh, the lock screen will look something like this. And as we have disabled the clock, we need to disable the date too, so that the lock screen will look something like this, which looks clean in my opinion, but I personally prefer to have these things. You have these many options over here. Display music visualizer. So let's assume you're playing any music, then there will be multiple bars, which will go up and down according to the music. If you like that, then obviously have it. If you do not like it, you can disable it. Okay, let's go into gestures now. Gestures anywhere. This is potentially the biggest feature of this ROM. Once you start using this feature on daily basis, there is no coming back. Let's select gestures anywhere. Location, if you want it to be on left edge or right edge, you can select that. I personally prefer left edge, so no problem over there. Trigger width, this much, is it fine for you? Depends on you. For me, 20 PX is more than enough. So let's select gestures over here. Select add gesture over here, select application. Let's assume I want to open up camera application whenever I write E, so done. Uh, once again, add gesture whenever, let's again select application gallery. Whenever I'll write L, I need gallery. So let's, that's done. Go back and uh, okay, we are over here right now. And now if I swipe from over here, it will get to the draw your gesture here. And if I write E, it will open up the camera application directly and uh, hit allow and uh, hit next. So it, it has started the camera application already. Let's click a picture of something and let's see how is the camera quality. Basically, I selected camera because I wanted to show you guys how is the camera of this thing. The time right now is uh, nine o'clock, I guess, 9.38 and it is completely in artificial condition. Clicked with this ROM, looks decent. Even though I would say that camera performance could have been better because I used this ROM today and in the morning, the shots were okay, sort of, not better than MIUI. And as this is a new build, it will get better with future builds. So do not worry about that. Eh? So if I click over here and if I write E, it will open up the camera application once again. If I come over here, if I write L, it will open up the gallery application immediately. Oh my God, that's great. App circle bar, you can select this and select app circle bar, enable it. We had gestures on the left edge, so we are going to have app circle bar on the right edge. And I'm going to select width of this much included app. So I want browser, calculator, calendar, camera, and clock. I'm just selecting random applications over here. If I do like this, 
I'm going to get these many applications over here. From here, you get this thing. From here, let's write L, you get this thing. So basically, Resurrection Remix ROM uses the complete screen plus almost everything is customizable. That is why I'm saying that this might be the best ROM that you can have on your Redmi Note 3 and, and people are saying that they are preferring Resurrection Remix ROM over the Sandwich Mod 14.1 just because of the features that it has. And then we have Pi Control over here, you can enable or disable it. Personally, I prefer to use first two things, that's why I'm not going to use Pi Controls over here, but you can use Pi Controls too. Three finger gesture can be enabled and used to take a screenshot by using your three fingers like this and it took a screenshot. You can be over here, use three fingers and it will take a screenshot. Let's go into buttons now. Navigation bar, enable navigation bar. If you do not like to use the hardware buttons on your Redmi Note 3 and Redmi Note 3 doesn't have a huge chin over here and at least it is smaller than Google Pixel. So you can feel free to use the navigation bar over here. And as this is the Resurrection Remix ROM, just having the navigation bar is not going to be enough for them. So they have added multiple features in that thing too. Just go into navigation mode, select fling over here, select fling settings. Uh, back button is always going to be there. So if you press over here, back button is going to be there. So let's go back over here. And this is going to be the home button. If you do a small swipe, then it will take you to the recent apps like this. Just do a small swipe and it will take you to the recent apps. And you can change that thing to right short swipe. If you want to change something else, like uh, let's say select custom action. I'm going to select screenshot over here because I take a lot of screenshots. So once I do this, it is going to take a screenshot. Once I do this, it is once again going to take a screenshot. Okay, yeah, it did. And if you thought these are the only options present in Fling settings, then you are completely wrong. We have tons of options over here. You can customize almost everything. You, you can pause the video and see what are the options over here. Let's go back now. And I'm going to disable the navigation bar for this video. If you are going to use the navigation bar, then Disabling hardware keys is a good thing to do and not only this you can disable the backlight completely too If you want them to be enabled, but you do not want them to be backlit and there are once again Multiple options in buttons too as you can see over here and you can change all the animations present in the ROM too by going into animations I personally prefer to have the stock animations that we have but obviously you can change that too now Let's go into interface font size can be changed to anything that you want Display size can be changed too and this is more of an Android N feature than the Resurrection Remix ROM feature. Expanded desktop, ambient display, dashboard is present over here. Heads up notifications can be irritating for some so you can disable that completely. What are heads up notifications? So basically let's assume you've got any message on WhatsApp. Then that message comes over here and stays there for few seconds. If you do not want that to happen and you want them to go directly in the notification bar then you can disable this then it will go into the notification bar directly now let's talk about screenshot type over here so if i take a screenshot right now it is a full screen screenshot but i do not like to do that select screenshot type over here and select the second option over here now if i try to take a screenshot by using then the screen brightness will reduce now you can select the area of which you want to take the screenshot so this much screenshot is taken not only this but if i do the three finger thing for our screenshot that we enabled earlier and select this much screenshot over here then that much screenshot will be taken. A very nice feature in my opinion and should be there in all stock ROMs too. We have multiple options in miscellaneous. Let's talk about system app remover. Let's assume you do not want any application which was a system application in Resurrection Mix ROM and you want it to be removed. You can do that over here. But I personally think that you do not need to do this because there are already so less number of applications installed on this ROM. Fingerprint authentication vibration. Now every time fingerprint is successfully recognized, it will vibrate. And yes, fingerprint sensor is working in this ROM. And if you want to disable that vibration, you can disable that too. Thanks to all these developers who have developed the amazing ROM for the Redmi Note 3 or who have developed the Resurrection Remix ROM and not only for this device. And it is working on multiple other devices too. And frankly speaking, I'll have to say that number of features which are present in Resurrection Remix ROM are surely more than what MIUI 8 or MIUI 7 or MIUI 9 is going to have. So. Frankly speaking, if you are into customization and if you want to customize your device to maximum level, then Resurrection Remix ROM is the way to go. There are multiple other things which are present over here, but those are completely normal as compared to what we saw in this configurations option. So I guess that's pretty much it. And what is my opinion about this ROM? I think that this is one of the most stable Android and best ROM for the Redmi Note 3. And if you are interested in this cover, then link for that will be in the description box below too. And if you are confused whether to install Sandwich Mod 14.1 and Resurrection Remix ROM, I would say both the ROMs are stable. But as we saw, Resurrection Remix ROM has 
tons of features as compared to Cyanogen Mod 14.1 and Resurrection Remix ROM is always going to be based on Cyanogen Mod 14.1 so if the Cyanogen Mod 14.1 ROM is very stable then Resurrection Remix ROM is also going to be very stable if Cyanogen Mod 14.1 is not that stable then Resurrection Remix ROM will not be that stable too so if you need a lot of features on your device then Resurrection Remix is the way to go so yeah this is pretty much it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up because it took me around one hour to make this video. This video might be very short, like 15 to 20 minutes, but it took me one hour. Yeah, so something like that. And if you have not subscribed to the channel already, then don't forget to click over here, click on my face right now and get subscribed because many more awesome videos like these on Redmi Note 3 are going to come real soon. If you are free right now and if you want to watch more videos made by me, then click on any of these videos and you can continue watching those videos. So yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for watching.